Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are chiming in from around the world. And welcome to our first Movers Advantage Next Generation Opportunity Webinar. I'm so excited to have you guys join us. And I will tell you what, how things are happening. Um, success is happening. There's a lot going on. And when you have an opportunity to hear this before anybody else. Now, some people have said to me, they said, okay, well, what exactly is a first movers advantage opportunity? What exactly does that mean? Well, in the title itself, first movers advantage, it, it means just that. It means that if you take advantage of being first, there, if you, if you move first, there's an opportunity that's going to be uh, more advantageous to you than the person who will move after. Now, let me give you some ideas of, in, 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 in the regular world, and, and something that you may understand. Now, some of you guys know who Sam Walton is, right? That is the owner of Walmart. Well, Sam Walton, once upon a time, actually, as he was launching Walmart, so this goes back, some of you guys were too young to ever even know about this, but what he did was he sent out invitations because he was getting ready to shake up the retail industry. He sent out invitations to people that said, hey, if you invest $1,000, okay, then you can become what we call a founder in my new project. And of course, the dividends and the, re, you know, the return on that investment would be significant. My cousin, God bless him, my cousin heard about the movement, right? He heard about it, and guess what? He, did, he, he said, because I did have the money to, you know, to pay to do it, or I could have just went to the credit union and got the money, but because I didn't get it, and I didn't know who this founder was, I just kind of stuck it in the file. Well, we had this conversation four years ago because as he was cleaning out some things, he found that invitation. But guys, it's now dozens of years later. The people who put that thousand dollars in are already six, you know, high six figure or seven figure, you know, uh, recipients uh, of dividends and cash and bonuses and stock that my cousin missed. That's a real life example of missing it. Another girlfriend of mine, right? Her name is, you know, Saletta. And and First Lady Saletta had an opportunity. You guys have seen Redbox, and I don't know if Redbox is all over the country, but I do know it's an East Coast kind of thing. The red box is just outside of you know normally a convenience store, and you can go rent movies. Well, she had an opportunity to be one of the founders, right? One of the founders before Redbox launched. A friend of hers forwarded her forwarded to her the email where you spend four thousand dollars and you can get ahead of this movement. And of course, if you're first, if you come in before, then of course you're going to make a lot of money, guys. If you in the box room you you lead them out into the project in this infancy of course your return is greater than those of us who would come in now now why do i tell you that because a lot of times when you talk tell people listen you need to move we don't have all the facts we don't have all the details but you need to move a lot of times they want to hunker down until they get all the facts but guys if you hunker down and not listen to mark zuckerberg in the dorm room then your price is today's price does that make sense? So I'm going to talk to you about who's in charge of this movement. As a matter of fact, I want to help you understand that these founders have shaken up a few industries themselves. As a matter of fact, in the insurance world, once upon a time, you know, Mass Mutual and New York Life and, 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 and uh, you know, all of these companies, uh, Prudential, were the big boys and nobody outproduced them. Well, then there came this band of guys, these founders that I'm going to introduce you to, Scott Tomer, you know, Coach Tomer, you know, Christopher Coakley. They got together and said, we believe that we can take insurance out of just a big conglomerate's hand and put it in the hands of individuals like you and like me, and we could run an insurance project right from our own home. Family, nobody believed them, just like they didn't believe Zuckerberg, just like people didn't believe in Redbox or Sam Walton, but guess what? They shook up that industry. And recently, when I was at Coach Tomer's home, now this is 30 years later, recently when I was at his home, I, there was a young man that had just hit a million dollars in that platform. So not only did they create millionaires back in D-Day when they launched the project, they're still committing, you know, creating millionaires today. Then they decided, what? that's one industry, but travel is huge. 
people love to travel, but the only people making good money is going to be like your Expedia or these big travel agencies that charge people six figures to launch a travel agency. What if we shake up that industry? And what if we allow, you know, people like you, like me, right, to literally run a travel, be a travel agent, to run that project right from our living room? Well, of course, everybody said it can't be done. You know, every time you're about to do something that nobody else has done, they say it what? Can't be done. Well, they did it. And I remember, as a matter of fact, First Lady Saletta Brown came in midway that project. And I remember seeing her hold up a check for $250,000. I remember hearing about people earning $75,000, $88,000 a month, $100,000 a month they made over 100 seven-figure earners, million-dollar earners in that project. Well, family, then they began to launch wholesale travel. They decided to take the same industry and what? Shake it up one more time. Because remember, the, the only place that most of us know to go buy travel is Expedia, Priceline, and Travelocity. Well, two things. They decided four years ago, four and a half years ago, to allow the average person like you, like me, who loves to travel but can't afford to pay expedious prices, the ability to buy travel at this word, which is one of my favorite, wholesale. The ability to buy travel at wholesale prices, guys, and the ability to share a link attached to our business, share a link with people, and whenever they travel, we would literally earn money every time they travel. So they took the business and, 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 you know, a little piece of it, at least away from Expedia. And they put it in the hands of people like you and like me, where we could do it right from my home. And guess what? They shook that industry up. Well, they're about to do it again. I came in on the tail end of that last industry. Let me tell you, and I just want to let you know what I was able to do, not coming in at the beginning of the industry. See, I heard about it. I heard about what they were about to do. But for me, I was kind of stuck on what had happened in my life. And I was kind of like, do I want to take another chance? Do I want to, do I want to go out there and try something else again? And I waited for 16 months before I came in that project. Let me tell you what I was able to do. And the only reason I want to tell you is so that you'll know what you're going to be able to do by being in front of what they're about to do. Coming in on the tail end of what they did, I was able to earn, I, I've, I've lost count of how many thousand dollar bonuses I've been able to earn with the company, four of their $10,000 bonuses. I was able to earn the coveted $50,000 challenge, which is an extra $25,000 bonus by helping enough, you know, a certain amount of people in a hundred days. Uh, and then I went on guys to become what we call a marketing director. And they're going to be awarding me a car here very shortly and earn this ring. And this ring simply signifies that you've earned anywhere between 100 to a penny short of $250,000 in the following period. That's what I was able to do coming in on the back end. So my question to you is, by you having the opportunity to hear about what they're about to do in this next generation, hear about it before the masses, that's what first movers advantage means. Meaning if I can do what I did on the back side of their last launch, what will you do? What will you be able to do on the front side of what they're about to do when they shake up the travel industry once again? Now, speaking of travel, let me ask you a quick question. Do you remember your childhood vacation? Do you remember, you know, going on those annual vacations that we used to have? You know, it used to be a thing that every single family pushed to do. Well, my mom pushed to do it as well, guys. As a matter of fact, it wasn't, it wasn't even that far. We li I live in, in Suffolk, Virginia, and Richmond, Virginia is two hours northwest of us, and we would go to a theme park. So if you're familiar with like Six Flags as a theme park or Disney on a very, very small scale, right? But we were so excited because every year, mom would buy the tickets, and every year we'd iron our clothes the night before, and mom would cook the chicken and the macaroni salad and the potato salad, and, and we have rolled the Hawaiian rolls. I love those, King's Hawaiian rolls. But we would have the rolls, and, and guys, we made a pitcher of Kool-Aid. Now, back then, guys, back in D-Day, there were no Kool-Aid boxes with the cute little straw, no. So we took the whole pitcher and sat it in the trunk, in the cooler with the ice, and, and guys, we put everything in there, you know, all of our desserts and everything. And we drove up to King's Dominion. Couldn't sleep the night before, but because we were so excited. 
And I remember we get there like nine o'clock and we get in line because we want to be in the park at 10 so we could be there all 12 hours from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And I remember the speech mom gave us every single time. It was like, when we get in here, don't ask for nothing. Guys, I remember it, and I remember how charged and excited and motivated I was. And, 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 and some people have, have had those memories, but what we're discovering is there's some kind of epidemic happening in the world today. Guys, if you don't have those memories, we understand you are not alone. It, it doesn't happen like it used to. As a matter of fact, we did some research and our passion for what we're doing in this next shakeup comes from the fact that we have looked and seen that 758, 68 million vacation days went unused last year. Here's a startling statistic, and I don't know if you can, you know, you, you can see it like I see it, but I heard or I read or from my, you know, from the mentor, 42% of Americans did not take vacation days last year. That's almost 50% of the entire, of all the people who had vacation, they did not take the days. 158 million one-week vacations, gone. You can't get it back. That's gone. Guys, we read that that was over $65 billion in monies that we left with the companies that gave us the vacation days. What's wrong? And then when you start to think about, you know, um, um, the people that, that can't even get vacation days, like if you're part-time or you own your own company, when I had my dealership, there is no way I was going to leave for eight days to do anything. I may take late Saturday off. And of course we had Sunday off, but I had myself back in there on Monday. Guys, and then you have the retirees that would love to travel with their family. But if 42% of Americans are not even taking their vacation, who are the retirees going to travel with? We found that this is an epidemic, and I personally think it is a problem. See, we understand that vacations are more than just fun. And when I start to think about um, how unhappy children seem to be these days, you know, and, and, and I wonder if us putting a vacation in every single home, would that at least fix some of the problems? Where the family could plan together, select their destination together, research the destination together, research the excursions together. See, we know, and, 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 we, and, and we've read, I mean, I know from just personally, they always ask my mom, they're like, Miss Parker, when's the last time you went on a vacation, right? Every time she goes to the doctor. But the Journal of American Medical Association said that annual vacations reduce heart disease, marital satisfaction, fellas, marital satisfaction is linked to more vacations. Guys, when you start talking about, you know, the, in, the endorphins, and I like to picture them as, as emojis that, that just fill our spirit, you know, so that we have more positive emotional levels and less depression and, and lower blood pressure. Is everybody about going on vacation? Really? Often? Yes. Smaller waistlines? Come on, guys, they have linked a lot of things to the stress. People just seem to be so mad these days. Well, what if they took more vacations. We feel like we can help fix this particular epidemic, guys. And we feel like that by bringing vacations to every single household, that, that we can't fix the whole problem, but we can at least make people happy, not just for the time that they're preparing and the time that they're going, but for up to 10 months once they get home because of the happiness that vacation brings. And, and what if by, by you joining our movement, what if by you becoming a founder with us and, 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 and taking on this mission, a forward mission, healing nations with vacations, what if as a next generation founder, you never missed another vacation? What if you could go on a vacation in 2020 and then another one in 2021 and and then it was comped, meaning, you know, you didn't pay for it. And, and what if you could go on another one in 2022 and then 2023? Do you know how much excitement is going to come into your household knowing, yes, I'm going to work hard all year, but in a year I'm breaking camp, I'm bouncing. What if as a next generation founder, I could show you how not only do you have the ability to do what I did, but you're going to do more because you're 
what they're about to do. What if I told you that just by positioning yourself, we're going to show you how to earn in, in 2020, the first two months, quarter of 2020, $43,500, almost $50,000, almost the same check, guys. What if I told you that they are being a next generation founder, you would be able to do that. What if I told you that you would always, if you took a mini vacation on your own, you would always have that inside of pricing. What if I told you that you get to join us because you're part of us on exotic locations. By the fact, we're going to Bali in March. What if I told you that if for some reason you couldn't make it, you could nominate a deserving family member or maybe your pastor. See, we have a vision just like Bill Gates had. Being a next generation founder, being part of this movement, our goal is very simple. Just like Bill Gates, you see that laptop right there? When computers were the size of your living room, Bill Gates believed in his mind, believed in his heart and his spirit that he could help revolutionize the entire world and help families, right? And now we do things at the speed of light, yes? He believed he could put one of, every one of, one of those in every household. Well, guess what? Now we carry it around in our pocketbook. Well, we believe that we can put a, 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 a vacation in every single household. We, we believe that we can take that 768 million vacation days down to zero. And, and what we need right now is we need a few of you to, to, to join with us, to band with us, right? To, to, to actually, you know, do this. Now, because we've already had success, you know, remember I told you about being able to share that link and whenever people save money, we would make money. Because we've already had success in that, and, and guys, we sold it for $199. It already works. As a matter of fact, one of the ladies on our team earned $7,600 in one year. A matter of fact, it's in eight months from January to August is when I requested the report. So that's pretty phenomenal. Going to give that link to you. Go and earn some extra money, right? But then there are some people like you out there who are saying, you know what, that's how the things they do. Can I still participate in that? Yes. And guess what? We all have that day. We're just going to give it to you. Again, we've already shaken up the industry with those products. And, and, and they're gonna, they're, we're going to sell them again at those prices. But right now, we're going to give that to you just by positioning yourself with us. Guys, that's crazy value. I mean, it's 200 bucks for that link right? It's $500 for that travel agency, but because you position yourself right now. Now, hear me. Look at those words at the top during pre-launch only. So as of the 28th of this month, that is going to go away. We will no longer be able to offer this particular um, package, this particular price of pre-launch once we launch. Does that make sense? Because this is specifically a pre-launch price. We will no longer be giving away the boiler text. We will no longer be giving away the travel agency, but you're going to get them both simply by positioning yourself with our platform. Not only that, guys, you're going to have, uh, uh, if you help us tell the world about this mission, there is some significant benefits to you. First things first, we're going to be able to change the world. One household, one family at a time, one vacation at a time. But guys, it's going to be something that's huge because we're doing this now out of passion. We're doing this now with the vision. And guys, every time you help somebody position themselves, that the company's going to, you know, we're going to send you a check for 10 bucks and we're going to deposit $71.42 in a deferred business bonus account for you. And, and, and guys, when we launch, Every time that 71.42, right, you keep adding them up, hits $1,000, they're going to mail you a check. Not a bad life. If you push yourself just like I did to earn $1,000 bonuses, unlimited, $10,000 bonuses. There are those of you who are going to become next generation founders tonight that will out earn my four, out earn Letitia's five. You guys will out earn us because you're coming in at the front side of this platform. And that ability to earn that $25,000, guys, that's just an extra 20 bucks a month if you want that piece. Here's the beautiful thing, is that there are a lot of people, and, and it's, it's kind of it's kind of sad, really, because I, I, I've said in multiple presentations, who has a New Year's resolution? And I either get the kangaroo paw or I get nothing. And I, I question myself, why... Uh, are people afraid to set New Year's resolutions? As a matter of fact, one of my girlfriends, I asked her last year, um, one of my team members actually, 
And I said, well, what's your New Year's resolution for 2019? And she said, I'm not setting one. Here's what I discovered is that most people set financial resolutions and they never hit them. They never come up with another way to increase their W-2 or add additional income to that W-2 for the next year. And so when, you know, they say that people stop dreaming, you know, between the ages of 21 to, to 25. Um, and, and, and they really, their spirit, man, because, you know, as a man, you know, as a man speaks, so is he and, and, and my people perish for lack of a vision. Guys, if, if, if you don't have a, a vision for yourself, if, if you don't set a goal for, for your life, life will set a goal for you. And so I realized that because people don't have a way to hit their goals, they stop setting them. So I have a New Year's resolution. My New, New Year's resolution is to help you earn 43000 okay, by 2020. Now, how am I going to help you do that? My goal is to help you to, you know, you guys need to get started as next generation CEOs. So you want to get back with the person that invited you to this platform, okay? And then let them know that you, you want to position yourself. Guys, listen, my nephew wants to see Jumanji and my nephew wants to see Bad Boys 3. Now, here's the deal. It cost me 50 bucks per movie, $21 for both of us to get in. And by the time I buy him a large popcorn and a pizza and the uh, large beverage, I'm at 30 bucks. So that's 50 bucks for, for, for one movie, 100 bucks for two movies. So I know 99 bucks, we're not even going to question that because 43000 with some sweat equity for not positioning yourself at $99, I don't think that's a lot to talk about, right? But how do we do it? Well, we're going to help you have 100 CEOs on your team. Now, this is what's going to happen. When you have 100 CEOs sign up, remember I told you every time that 7142, right, gets to 100, I mean, to four, I mean to um, $1,000, we're going to send you a check. Well, that's going to happen seven times. You're going to receive seven $1,000 bonus checks for a total of $7,000. Now, Every, the first time and every time 100 new, new team builder sales hits your team, the company's going to cut you a check for $10,000. But remember I said that they also pay you $10 per person? Well, guys, that's $1,000 right there. That by itself, $18,000. So if you're like me, I can't go back and earn the 43, but I can earn 18. So if, you come, if you're coming out of the old project into the new, you and I, can, we can earn 18. But for those of you that are positioning yourself right now, guys, by getting this done in 100 days, what the company is going to do is they're going to pay you an additional bonus of $25,000, $5,000 a month for five months, 25,000 plus 18,000 is 43,000. Well, you may be thinking to yourself, but I don't know 100 people. That's not what we're asking. See, if we take you, as I close up, if we take you and, and, and tomorrow night on the webinar, I say to you, invite 10 people. And, and let's say you invite 10, but only seven get on the video webinar and only five of them are excited. Well, there's another webinar on Thursday. And I'm going to say to you, invite 10 and have your five do what? invite 10. And so if they invite 10, that's 50 plus you invite 10, that's 60. And if a third of them, 20 say, hey, we like what we see and they get signed up. What are we going to tell them to do on Friday? Invite 10. Do you see what I'm saying? So do you realize how quickly you will get to 100 just by inviting 10? It's not a daunting task. Now, I can't tell you anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and shut up, but I am going to say this. So Richard Branson says, if somebody offers you an amazing opportunity and you're not even sure what the heck they're talking about, Sam Walton offered it to my, cus my cousin, Redbox was offered to First Lady Selena Brown, I waited 16 months when this was offered to me. Sir Richard Branson begs to differ from any of us. He says, when you see an amazing opportunity and you're not even sure if you can do it, you don't even understand it. Say yes, and then learn to do it anyway. My grandmother would put it this way. My grandmother would say, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now, I never really understood what that meant. And one time she kind of told me, she said, if somebody wants to give you something, don't say no, take it. And then if you can't use it, give it to somebody else. And that's kind of been my motto my whole life. I never say no, thank you. If somebody wants to be nice and give me something, then I'll take it. 
because grandmother said never look a good horse in the mouth. But Sir Richard Branson is 21st century says, you've just seen an amazing opportunity. Say yes, and then learn to do it later. It is my prayer that you heard me because this is what I know, Andrea. I know that if a person gets started, they heard me. And if they didn't, it's okay. I recorded this and we'll send it to you so that you can hear it over and over and over again because sometimes things have to resonate in your spirit before you get it 100%. God bless each and every one of you family. Listen, I look forward to seeing you on the beaches of the world. I look forward to seeing you at the bank. Let's get to the top because quite frankly, the bottom is just too crowded. There is not a lack of opportunity. There's just a lack of opportunity takers. Have an incredible rest of your evening, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Good night.